Hi everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This is the emboss, painting emboss and folder one that I like to do. Um, I use the stamps that I used was warm and toasty and I use this image and warm and toasty wishes to you on the inside. Uh, the Merry Christmas has come from so snowman season and I just use that Merry Christmas. The emboss, I've already done it, is with soft sea foam and I used this embossing folder. Uh, there is no make on it, it's just the swirls and snowflakes and that's what's on there, snows and swir uh, sno swirls and snowflakes. And if you remember how I done this, I got the flat side, still wet where I washed it, and covered that in ink. In this case I used soft sea foam. Placed my card on the clean side closed it up and run it through the embossing folder and that's how it's come out. So that's what I've done. Also for this card I have got a card blank of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths scored at 4 and 1 eighth folded in the middle. I have a piece of silver foil at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths and then my piece of emboss card at five and a half by three and three quarters, which will go on the top. I also got some scalloped foil piece. This is the largest scalloped oval from the oval nesting dies, and this is the second largest plain oval from the nesting dies. And I have scrap of foil and a scrap of white for the sentiment which we'll cut down. So first of all we need to stamp our image and stamp our sentiment. So with the polar bear and memento black ink I am going to ink it up now I've just re-inked my black ink and I'm going to fit that I'm going to stick it this way nope. uh, put it like that it's a bit harder to do when it's already cut out in an oval There you are. That's all I need that for. And then my sentiment I'm going to put down here. My Merry Christmas and I never got a piece for the inside to put my warm and toasty and there you are warm and toasty on the inside. That's our stamping done. Just colour this in, and all I did was colour them in red and white. So I coloured his hat, red, and then all the line bits, and 
I coloured in red. This is real red, by the way. Try not to go over the edge. That's my polar bear coloured in. No, it's not. I do go over his boots as I can never get a solid image when I stamp him. So that is my stamping done. Right, let's cut this down. And this I'm going to cut down to about half an inch, I think. Down. Put some scrap of foil. A scrap of foil down as well. So I'm going to put that on there. Once I've cut it all down, I'll tell you how big to do it, or how long it needs to be. Or how long mine was. Right, don't need that, don't need that. So, the sentiment has gone on a piece. Oh. Three quarters of an inch by three inches. So this will be seven eighths. Yep. By three and one eighths. Yep. So. Where's me over? Let's glue these on. I think this would look nicer on with soft seafoam, but my soft seafoam is actually running dry and I need to order a reinker and I'll put in my order next week. But I think it would look better with soft seafoam. I did try to do it, but it didn't come out very well. Because there wasn't enough ink on it. Right. Let's get my card base. And let's put the inside in first. I wonder I actually remember to stamp that up the right way. 
a terrible habit of not stamping it up the right way. Right, now we're going to ink this up and we're going to place this on the silver foil. little border all the way around and then we're going to place this on the card base everything's the right way around and these are going to go on dimensionals that in the wrong place one there one there one this is going to go up there. So we want a large dimensional there and a couple of small ones across the top. Added a little bit of glue here. And pop that down. And there we have it. A card made with a warm and toasty stamp set. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.